Hey, it's Oscar the Super User, and today I'm going to bring you a super quick tutorial on how to get Battle.net working on Linux with almost no friction involved. Now, there's other methods online that use Bluetris, that use Steam, and even the Heroic Games Launcher, which are all fine, right? But if you want the quickest and fastest way, then we're going to see a program called the Forgus Launcher, which is amazing. And why is it amazing? It's amazing because all you have to do is go to your software store and download the flat pack. Okay. Now, if you're on Arch Linux, uh, you do have an AUR package for Forgers Launcher. But to be honest, uh, flat pack is universal and it works very well. Uh, so even though I'm on Arch, I'm going to download the Flatpak version, that's enough for me. If you're on Ubuntu, Fedora, whatever, um, use the Flatpak. It's here and it's very easy to get. As you can see, I already have it. So we're going to open the Forgers launcher and we get this little window right here. So what we want to do is just click on the plus button and here we want to add battle.net. And as you can see, we can even uh, specify which prefix we want. I'm going to adjust it to install my games in a separate SSD. I don't want them in my home folder. You can leave it as it is though. I want to change it. Right, we also want to leave the Proton version to be GE Proton. That is very important because we need it for certain games on Battle.net that use cinematics like Warcraft 1 Remastered, or Warcraft 2 Remastered, or Diablo 2 Resurrected. We want those movies to play, so we want GE Proton there. And as something optional, you can add a shortcut to the desktop, to the app menu, and to Steam. So you don't really need to um, open for Forgers Launcher. Uh, you can just search for it. I'm going to actually add it to my app menu for this case. So I'm going to leave it like that. Press OK. And it's going to do its magic. Like, already it's uh, setting up G Proton. It's downloading the battle.net executable and as you can see it's already starting the installation almost as if we were on windows by the way if the video has been useful to you uh, why not give it a big fat like and subscribe for more fun and casual linux videos and tutorials and walkthroughs and guides and uh yeah just it would make me happy yeah right so it just finished installing and we got the login window and as it says here, please close the login window and wait. We want to follow those instructions. So we're not going to log in just yet. We're just going to close it. And we're going to wait for this to finish configuring itself. And there we go. We already got the battle.net here in the Forgers launcher. But what's really cool, you don't have to execute the Forgers launcher if you don't want to. I'm actually going to close it because if you remember correctly, I actually added it to the app menu. So here in GNOME, all I have to do is type battle.net and i already got it here now i can execute that and forgus already launches battle.net for me and there you go we've got the login screen we can log in and play some games so here we are in the battle.net launcher you can install world of warcraft diablo 4 you can install all the games that you want except obviously the ones that have a heavy kernel anti-cheat like modern warfare which Prohibit, prohibits Linux from connecting even. Uh, but, you know, most of the games that you want to play should work, especially the ones that I want to play, such as Warcraft 1 Remastered. Let's get that in. And Warcraft 2 Remastered. Let's get that in. And these ones are important because they have cinematics that need a special codec. And you'll see that they work equally well with Forgers Launcher. So that's it. I hope that has been helpful. Uh, we'll probably cover more ways of installing Windows games on Linux because there's a, a, a wide variety of methods. Uh, but I think they all have their pros and cons. Uh, and this one is a really good way to just get things up and running without thinking. That being said, remember what the terminal always tells us. With great power comes great responsibility.